Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading update. Today's Friday, September 18th. Another day, another 2K. Uh, booked a little over $2,000, $2,009 to be exact. Biggest winner was in the micro NASDAQ here. Uh, nice winner, 732 in Apple. Amazon, 425. Uh, let's see, Baba 397, Beyond uh, was a little loser, 199, Netflix a little loser, 146, Scratch Trade in Roku, and a little loser in Zoom Zoom. So $2,009 was the total profit. Let's start with the NASDAQ. We, uh, we got into this one uh, at about 945 is when we started, so that would be right about here. Yeah, so had this initial push down, bounce, looked like it wanted to go into positive territory, couldn't hold came down and when it started to consolidate here, that's when we jumped in and rode this down. Uh, when it started to consolidate again, I jumped in again and rode it down again. So nice trade there. Never had any more than three contracts on. So we're talking about, you know, buying power uh, with Tastyworks anyway, about 1200 bucks. So really small size. Uh, Apple booked a profit of 732. Uh, similar thing here after we got this pushed down, started to consolidate. Uh, took a little ride down here and took a little ride down there. Amazon, uh, big push here lower, started to consolidate under yesterday's low, and I just cut a little piece of it. That just that little piece right there didn't did not end up getting back in. Uh, let's see, Alibaba, uh, same thing here. Took a little runner to the downside in Alibaba. I think it was this piece here we caught. Uh, I think we were still yeah we were still in the trading room at that point. Uh, beyond meat. So beyond, I tried to catch a downside runner. It was pretty weak on the day, uh, right here. And then it just, it bounced pretty quickly and it just kind of, it kind of flushed me out. So I just, I just got out, took a loss. It was not as the NASDAQ started to roll over and go lower beyond meat was not following suit. And so I didn't want to, I didn't want to stay in here for, for much more. And so just cut my losses, took a loss and beyond, even though it did end up Rolling over eventually, uh, just ended up cutting my loss on that one. Netflix, what did Netflix do here? Uh, oh yeah, Netflix, I had a nice winner and then I let it run all the way back up on me. So I ended up taking a little loss in Netflix. Uh, Roku, same thing, I had a little bit of a winner and then, it, and then it bounced really hard on me, ended up cutting my loss, cutting cutting out, just taking a small profit there. And then Zoom, minus 360, that was my actually my biggest loser and in Zoom, I was trying to take a long runner. So um, I thought, okay, if this market's going to still hold up, and this was this morning when the, when the NASDAQ was in positive territory, I said, okay, let me get a little bit of long, long meat on the bone. And, so, and, and Zoom was really strong, made a big push higher, kind of came down right around uh, yesterday's high, and I was looking for a bounce, and it flushed. So I just I bailed on that trade. So those are my trades, uh, a little over 2K. I want to show you guys what we did for the week, just to kind of recap since it's Friday. So for the week of 914, so on the mighty 90 side, uh, a little bit down this week, and makes sense. I mean, there's just not a lot of mighty 90 opportunities. You can see we only took a couple a day. Uh, I had a winner, winning day on Tuesday, winning day today, and a, and a few losing days. So only 11 trades, uh, and that's. That's part of the. That's the one of the things that you need to learn as a trader is when when something's not setting up and it's just not, it's just not working that well. You just reduce size. And we're still going to take these trades, but just reduce size. Took a you know a small, small loss uh, on the week. Now I know I'm going to get questions. You know, is the, is the mighty ninety dead? Should we not be trading anymore? Absolutely not. It is. It's such a good strategy, but when you see big overnight action and in the morning. It, price is just, you know, really, really choppy. It's just not going to give you the opportunities. Now, to be fair, we missed some nice ones today. I had a order in, in Facebook, just was being a little bit too conservative, trying to get a better entry and it just ran away from me. So I never got filled. Same thing in Tesla. I was getting ready to put in an order and it bounced real quick. And so I never got filled. Those both would have been super nice winners. So there are some opportunities, but, um, we a either didn't take advantage of them or the number of opportunities were just very small. And we're saying staying super small on that strategy right now. Didn't even take any pairs trades this week. You know, when the market's moving like it is, I don't, I'm not really excited about getting involved in a lot of pairs trades. 
pairs trades are great when there's nothing going on in the market and they become a, a really valuable trade, but I just, I didn't even take any this week. Uh, but the big winners were the runners. We've been talking about this a lot in the live trading. We're going to be uh, rolling out the class with the official details about how we trade these, but, um, Everyone who's in the live stream gets to watch us do it live and kind of get our thoughts on how this is coming together. But, you know, just a great week overall. Monday booked 570 bucks, almost 1700 on Tuesday, almost 16 or almost 600 on Wednesday, over 3200 yesterday, <clears throat> yesterday, and then over 1700 today. So total profits for the week on the runners uh, over 7800 bucks. Uh, 45 trades. If we look at a summary going back the last few weeks, and so previous to this, I was just kind of lumping all my day trades into one P&L, and obviously that's uh, not really going to tell us the true story. So a few weeks ago, I started breaking these out. So you can see over the last few weeks, Mighty 90 is up 716, only 36 trades. Paris trades, just six trades down a little bit. And the runners, we've taken over 100, we've taken 114 trades, total profit of over 14,000, and then almost $15,000 total over the last three weeks. So, and that's that's basically 14 days of trading, right? We had five days of trading this week. We had four last week because of Labor Day, and five uh, the week before. So that's 14 days of trading, booking almost 15,000 of profit. That's over, on average over $1,000 per day. Uh, obviously. There's uh, calculated out on an annual basis. If you if you can average that over the course of a year, you've got about 252 trading days in a year. So we're talking about a quarter million dollars of of uh, revenue. Now, uh, the day, the trading is really good right now from the runner's perspective, just because the days are volatile. You know, if we get a period into super low volatility, it's not going to be as good. But there they there will still be runner opportunities. So uh, just keep that in mind as you're kind of setting your your expectations. Uh, so good stuff. Um, like I said, total 716 mighty 90, a little loss on the pairs trades over 14, almost 15,000 total over the last few weeks. So that's where we're at. We'll be in the live stream room again next week. The only off day that we won't be streaming live is Thursday, but we will be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I look forward to seeing you all there. Uh, we're having a lot of fun in there. Uh, I know our members were, were posting every day. They kind of, a lot of them post their profits on the day as well. So there's a lot of nice profits in the room this morning, 2,500 bucks, 3,000, a couple thousand here. You know, I mean, it's just, uh, this is a really, uh, fun strategy. It's fun to, fun to share with you all and, and do it live. So if you uh, are interested, make sure you join us in the live stream room. Everybody take care, have a great weekend, and we will see you on Monday.